Hi all, welcome to my new little vlog here. Right, I'm just continuing on making the jacket, this beautiful tweed bespoke jacket. I had a brief fitting with my client because I'm experimenting with the fit and, and how he wants things done. And he wanted a, a he wanted the shoulder really squared across, like the very 50s. And so I had to increase the armhole shoulder line, the armhole meets the shoulder line. I had to put that up half an inch but I don't think that's enough, so I've put it up even at half an inch. So basically, it's, it's an inch up now, and it's squared right across now. That will give it more height on the shoulder. And I put, because he wanted it like really squared across, so I originally put two shoulder pads in, but I found having two shoulder pads in, so I did one. He liked the two shoulder pads because I'd put one shoulder pad in, and that actually lifted up the shoulder really high up. But the problem when you do this, it becomes so thick, it can create a lot of fitting problems around the neckline so I'm not going to do that now so I'm just going to use one but what I'm going to do be subtle with this now I've got what we call waddings like a cotton very soft cotton and uh, we put this in some stuff people use this for various things and we use it in the trade as well so I'm going to use this wadding it's so soft so that will give it more it won't be so thick and it will still support it so I'm just going to cut this out now and I'm going to actually base this on, you'll see what I do. So it's kind of the tricks of trade we do in the trade, you know, in couture and bespoke tear. And we have to, you know, we have to try and get our clients whatever design they want. We have to try and do that. But sometimes it's not practical. So you have to advise your clients about the problems that may occur. So I'm just going to just cut this out now. Sometimes you gotta like, you know, be practical with it as well, because we want a beautifully fitted item, but sometimes, you know, when you get a client they've designed something and you've got to try and replicate it, sometimes it's not practical. As a fashion designer myself, so I know about all these things. So I'm actually you'll see one of my new vlogs soon. I've just been commissioned to make a beautiful dress for a, a lovely lady. She came in today, gave a deposit, and I've got a sketch start sketching the designs I'm going to be using all premium quality fabrics they'll be all silks and and wools and velvets but all beautiful silks I've got some silk velvets silk crepes and all that stuff so you'll see what I'm going to do so basically I'm just gonna just redo this now yeah so we all use the premium best premium fabrics but also you know I've had some some people come to myself can I design this and they've had the most impractical design <laughs> that's not functional and i have to tell them that i can do it but you know it's not going to be functional so you know it's kind of utilitarian kind of concepts you've got to have that with aesthetics as well so i try and balance out the aesthetics with it as well so just trim this off here so now this is going to be my, my my kind of new shoulder pad but it'll be softer inside and it'll still be quite thick still. So I'm just going to baste this in now. And so that's going to go on top there. I'm just going to just do that. So I've got the wadding in there. So that's going to replicate kind of the shoulder pad, but be a softer approach. So hopefully that will give it more height, which he wants. So I'm just going to just... I'm just going to just base that in there so we can see if I need to add a little bit more I may do afterwards so I've just got I'm just experimenting with this now to see if it's it'll be fine okay okay get a level on the edge there so this is what I'm doing just adding more height and I've actually increased the shoulder line higher by one inch because he really wants it really squared right across. So you've got to give it volume and height. That's what he wants on his shoulder. So that's what the client wants. We have to give it to them. So, you know, it's, it's all about experimenting. And in my control, I do the same thing. You know, I've got to make a mock up. You'll see, I'll, I'll actually. I'll actually be highlighting everything that from the process from the beginning of the sketches 
to the finished product of that couture dress I'm making. So I'll be draping her as well. But I'm actually sourcing all the fabrics now. So there'll be a different vlog to this what I'm doing here. This is pure bespoke tailoring here. But you'll see I will be doing a lot of bespoke tailoring when I make up the couture design as well. Lots of hand stitching will be involved. So you'll see the the process and it's a long it's an it's an arduous journey we we go on when we're actually doing couture or uh, bespoke tailoring. People don't realise, you know, we're not factories. And we're trying to create a beautiful fitted, beautiful, perfect fit to the clients. And as I was saying before in some of my videos, no one is symmetrical. So we have to balance out the whole garment. And that's what it's all about. Balancing everything out and getting the aesthetics as well as utilitarian methods and the processes involved. It's got, it's got to look beautiful, but it's got to be functional. That's what it's all about as well. So, you know, if you've got a really impractical design and it doesn't, you know, there's no, you can't be functional with it, forget it. And also, if you've got something that the balance, you got, you've made a garment and the balance is totally out. And it's a beautiful design, but the balance of the front and back doesn't fit, forget it as well. It's just, just a waste of your energy and time. Right, there we go. So now I've put an extra piece of wadding underneath now. So hopefully that should help lift up and give it more height on the shoulder. So I will see you on my next little vlog as I continue making this beautiful tweed jacket, everyone. Here it is. So there we go. So I've had to lift up to originally it was one inch down. I've had to lift it up because he really wants it more height on the shoulder. So let's see what happens. I'll see you soon. Ciao.